Hello dear friends, in this video we'll show you the basics of Pogomax designer software. Let's start the program by clicking on this icon. Ok, we can see the program interface now, so let's begin. First of all, let's show you how to create areas. Here we can see four tools for creating different areas. Let's focus on every tool one by one. The first tool is called Create Area by Placing Points. It allows us to draw any kind of shape by placing points wherever you need them. That's how we create any kind of polygons. We can also adjust shapes by simply dragging those green points we've placed. And when we press the Enter key, we finish drawing the shape. Now let's create a rectangle. That's what the second tool is about. Simply hold down the left mouse button and drag the cursor. Using the third tool, we can create circles. If we need our circle to be symmetrical, hold down the shift key. Let's add a few more shapes to our installation. In the last tool, it allows us to create areas with the same shape as the image we are using. Any images of the PNG format with a transparent background will do. Using this tool, we can create an area by copying the visible part of the picture. Here is an example of how it works. As an example, we'll use our logo. It works the same way as in the previous tools. We hold down the left mouse button and drag the cursor. And it's done. We can also move shapes. For that, we need to double click on them and by holding down the left mouse button, we can move them. So now all the areas are ready. They are transparent, so you won't see them unless you add content to these areas. Now let's unite these areas into one single area. In order to do that, we need to hold down the control key and to choose areas we want to unite. Then we merge them using this tool. Now these areas will work as one. The next thing is adding content. First choose a category. Then choose an animation. Hold down the control key in order to choose several animations and simply drag those to the area. Repeat the same actions to add content to the rest of the areas. We can also add effects to the background. Our first stage is ready. Now let's dive into some of the settings. We click on the playlist button and choose a specific area. Here we can see a few animations added to this area. Choose an animation and click on the properties button. We can change the animation's name and playback mode. Repeat count means the animation will be repeated a specific amount of times in a row. Repeat time means the animation will be played a specific amount of time. We can also change the animation's opacity. These settings are the same for any kind of content, whether it's animations, pictures or videos. 
but the effects have their own settings. For example, instead of balloons, we can add some other objects from the program library. Let's replace balloons with some stars. We can also use local images. Besides, we can increase or decrease the number of objects. And of course, there are some additional settings like capacity, speed, and so on. Now let's create another stage and see other types of content. Stage number two is created. Let's add a background animation as well. We will also need a rectangular area. and one circle area. The first area will be projecting some text. And the second area will be filled with dynamic color. First, let's see how we add text. We go to the playlist button and here you can see that all the settings are set by default. We can change fonts, font size, the text itself, its color, positioning, and so on. For dynamic colors, we need to set the colors we'd like to see. Here's how it's done. Playback time is also adjustable. For that, add a list of colors and set a specific time. Press the F12 button on your keyboard if you'd like to minimize the program to trade. Right now, I suggest we take a closer look at the program structure. As we can see, any project includes a certain amount of stages, every stage includes areas, every area includes playlists, and finally, every playlist comprises content. One playlist is enough for most cases, but sometimes you'll need two or more playlists, for example, if you need to add text or effects. Let's get back to the program. Now I'd like to tell you more about the playback mode. Let's press the start button. Playback begins from the first stage. If you press the space key, playback stops. If you press the enter key, playback stops and it won't be displayed. If you use the left and the right arrow keys on the keyboard, we can switch animations in areas. For switching stages, use the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard.
For getting back to the edit mode, press the escape button. Now let's see how to adjust the transition types between stages and playlists. Click on the Properties button. There are two transition types, Jump and Fade. By default, the transition time is set 1 second. Also, stages have the so-called limitless repeat type. It means the stage will be displayed until you switch it manually. Ok, let's move on. The next thing I'm going to show you is playlist settings. First we choose an area. Then we click on the playlist button. Select the playlist. And go to the properties tab. Transition types can also be adjusted. As you can see, there are several options. Now we need to do the same with every area, including the background. Let's switch to stage number 1 and repeat these actions. Ok, it's done. Now, background settings. By default, the background color is always black, but you can use any kind of color. Let's make it white gray. As you can see, there is a gradient added to the background, which we can adjust. Ok, the project is now finished. We just need to save it. We click on the menu button and save the project. So let's name it. 1, 2, 3, for example. And hit the save button. That's it. We can exit the program. As you can see, the project file has been created, which you can use at any time. Projects start in playback mode, which is convenient. So that's it for today's lesson. We've covered all the main functions in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much, and until next time.